also, Commissioner Dimas, uh, what are your hopes for the end of these negotiations? The European Union's objective is to agree here in Bali uh, to start uh, negotiations in an official way, not just uh, to, to carry on with an informal dialogue, with uh, a concrete timetable and uh, a roadmap what we are going to discuss in the coming uh, two years and an agreement that we shall have an agreement at the end of 2009. The European Union's objective is to agree here in Bali uh, to start uh, negotiations in an official way, not just uh, to, to carry on with an informal dialogue, with uh, a concrete timetable and uh, a roadmap what we are going to discuss in the coming uh, two years and an agreement that we shall have an agreement at the end of 2009. And in, the, in this roadmap we should include uh, certain of uh, the basic elements that we consider as uh, uh, important for a future agreement. The answer is that for the first part of your question that I am optimistic. I hope that we are going to have an agreement, but of course I hope for a good agreement. And uh, we have to work hard. It's not going to be easy. We're going to have difficulties uh, in the coming three days. Uh, but I hope that, uh, as you very correctly said, the public, not only in the European Union, but internationally, expecting from Bali results. And uh, we should not uh, disappoint them. And uh, uh, the European Union, at least, uh, will respond to the concerns of our citizens who are very aware of the problems uh, that uh, climate change is causing and will cause in the future. So we have to take uh, the right decisions here in uh, Bali in order to fight effectively climate change. And uh, one sentence maybe concerning uh, the surprising role of China during this negotiation process in Bali. Uh, China, which is uh, one of the big emitters of uh, uh, carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases, is uh, uh, very constructive here in uh, Bali. I hope that uh, the, this attitude will continue up to the end of the negotiations and so they will contribute to an effective agreement uh, here. Thank you, Mr. Dimas. Okay. Okay. Now. It's good. Yeah. Yes. Very good idea. It's very encouraging that uh, members of the European Parliament participate in this uh, convention, and uh, we expect a lot from you. We expect that you will. Uh, contact uh, other representatives uh, from uh, the parliaments of other countries, uh, regional uh, governments and uh, states like uh, California, uh, New York, who are uh, represented here, and uh, also speak to the uh, media in order to press for uh, a good agreement here in Bali. Mm -hmm. We really expect a lot from you. And uh, uh, in the previous conventions, the members of European Parliament really contributed in uh, uh, advancing uh, our fight against climate change. So we met uh, a lot of colleagues from different states around the world. I think this exchange of members of Parliament from Europe with members of Parliament from, ex from for example, the United States or Indonesia or Brazil, this is really important. And we hope, uh, because we cannot negotiate, we can only observe that we play our role right. Very correct. And uh, the European Parliament, the Commission and the Presidency are appearing here and it is very good to show that we speak for 500 million Europeans with one voice and we are very committed in fighting climate change. So really we appreciate your role here. Thank you very so much. It's very nice here to be a European. Huh? It's really a good feeling. <laughs> very good. Thank you very much. my my cousin eh yeah, <laughs>